Finally, Tracy, my final question for you is, what three tips you have for job seekers in terms of elevating their job search? I think the first one is around uh, taking time to really look at what your values are, mm -hmm. what your personal goals are. Take time to write them down and then really look and see what is the top priority for you. And then when you're looking for a company or an organization, look for ones that are matching those, mm -hmm. that are aligned with those, because I think that's where you'll find the most fulfillment yes. is when, when you are working for an organization that, that either shares or is aligned with your personal values and yes. personal goals. Uh, the second one is really sort of maximizing your exposure and so making sure that your LinkedIn is up to date. Mm -hmm. You may want to re reach out to some recruiting agencies. Um, reach out to your network. Really yeah. see, like, you know, let people know that you're looking mm -hmm. and, and give them an idea once you've done kind of that personal goal values reflection, yes. what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. I think it's important to be clear um, to yourself with your expectations and also clear to others and kind of throwing it out there to the world. You never know what, yeah. what will happen. A lot of times people hear things before jobs are actually yes. posted. And then the third is uh, when you actually get that interview and that, that exciting mm -hmm. moment yes. where you get the, the email saying, yeah. we'd love to bring you in for an interview. So make sure you prepare. Yeah. Uh, it's really important that you come with some really clear uh, questions that you mm -hmm. want to know. Make sure that you are able to kind of clearly define before the interview, what do you want to know? Like what, what would make you um, informed so that you can make an educated decision at the end whether you want to join the organization or not. So come with those questions ready to go um, and come with several so that yeah. just in case some of them are already answered during the interview, you still have a few left at the end to show that you, mm -hmm. you took the time, you're really interested, yeah. you did your research and you want to know more about the Do company. you have any specific question that you like to hear uh, candidates asking you? Uh, for us, I think it's around our values uh, and, and how we live those because if they've uh, gone on our website and, and taken the time, they will see, I think, mm -hmm. that we're, we're very values driven and it's important to us and kind of make our mark. So when they dive a little bit deeper into that and ask maybe about some of our specific programs or they talk about events or things they've seen on maybe our Facebook page, mm -hmm. like you can tell that they that it means a lot to them to, yeah. be, to have been selected and to come in for an interview. And, uh, and, and we want people that are yeah. really excited and really yeah. want to work here because when we make the decision to hire someone, we really want them <laughs> yes. as well. So we want that mutual that's kind right. of excitement. Yeah. Thank you for that. And with that, my interview with you, Tracy, comes to an end. Again, thank you for taking the time to ask you these questions. And for the audience, again, if you have any other extra tips for job seekers, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and tune in next time for another great interview I'm preparing for you. Tracy, thank you very much. Thank you so much for having okay. me. Bye, guys.